the sun up. My friend Simon is standing up the beach about 100 feet that way. I'm here. They'd lost six hours and later under hypnosis. I saw myself in this, this large room, like a silver shaped sort of room, with these very tall ceramic looking beings and they're very positive. And they're like pure white, the whitest, whiter than the brightest ceramic plate you've ever seen. And they had black eyes and I, I didn't feel any fear at all. It was just all positive. Did they probe you? No, I wouldn't say they probed me. I mean, they checked me out and stuff like that. As the years went on, the encounters continued and he documented most of them. I looked up and my god, there's this huge thing, it's about uh, eight times the size of a 747. He started compiling reports from other UFO witnesses, and when the aliens spoke, they were always very friendly. They have a lot of love and compassion, they can't understand what we do, the things we do. It was the same message to others wonderful presence, love, and a sense of peace. Um, they speak telepathically, so you end up become. Like you get the knowledge within your mind. It looked like uh, an oval object with lights, three lights in it, which were flashing. Former Air Force officer Colin Norris is the most senior ufologist in the country, taking it up after witnessing an encounter during the Second World War. This is the uh, most interesting. He has dedicated over 50 years into UFO research. These are also his, his, his home, literally stuck with the puzzle. People just don't know. And so it was, I found myself waiting in Kevin's backyard in the hills hoist for that close encounter. I'm seeing that clear as daylight. It was gold, it was a diamond. I want to see it. I'm a very positive person. <laughs> oh dear, and Trace, sadly I didn't see a thing. Apparently I don't have the same level of consciousness as Kevin. Ah, and what are the little green men saying to these people? Good question. Look, apparently they have grave concerns for our planet. They say we should love each other and we should care more for the environment. So there you have it. That's it for me tonight from Planet Earth. Oh. <laughs> now, there's something you don't see every day.